Hi, this is Eva Cartman, host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. Today, I've got a quick episode for you. This summer at camp, my favorite activity was archery. You know, bow and arrow. What can archery teach you about life and about pursuing your dreams? Well, you are about to find out. You know what time it is. This is episode 273 of the Dream Big Podcast, and it's time to dream big. My name is Eva Cartman. I'm part of a squad of super kids that are here to change the world. We don't believe you need to be adults to have big goals and start working towards your dreams. We believe age is just a number and you're never too young to make a difference. We may be young, but we are not naive. We understand that achieving our big dreams will not be easy. It will take incredible dedication, hard work, and yes, massive action. There will be ups and downs, but we embrace the challenges and relish pushing outside of our comfort zone because this is how we grow. They may not teach us these concepts in our school textbooks, but we are smart enough to know that the tools and tactics to achieve our big dreams are out there. And we are willing to do the work to seek out these skills and master them because we know that our future depends on it. We are the big dreamers, and it's time to dream big. Before we dive into this week's episode, here's Silly Sophia to make us all laugh. What's an astronaut's favorite candy bar? A Mars bar. Ha! <laughs> what did the blanket say to the bed? I got you covered. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. It's funny. If you are looking for important life lessons, you can pretty much find them in anything. Take archery, for example. Bows and arrows. What can learning about how to shoot a bow and arrow teach you about big dreams? I know that if I asked my sister what she thinks of when she thinks of bows and arrows, she would say the Disney movie Brave. That's a great movie, and it probably inspired me to select archery as an activity when I saw on the list of activities that I can do at camp this past summer. Merida makes it look so easy. She can hit any target from a distance. But let me tell you, archery is not easy at all. Actually, it takes so much focus and discipline, and if you think you're going to hit the bullseye on your first try, well, then you haven't tried archery before. I was actually talking to my parents recently about what I would want for the holidays this year, and actually at the top of my list was a bow and arrow, so I can practice archery not just at camp, but year-round. In thinking more about what I like about archery, it occurred to me that you can learn many skills that could actually be very helpful on the journey towards your big dreams. Let me just share a few. Number one, focus. Just like you have to be focused on your big dreams to make them a reality, good archers need to be focused on their shot. If your mind is on something else, then you lose focus and your shot will be off. Number two, persistence. Just like big dreams don't happen overnight, you don't need to become a great archer overnight. You need to be persistent and keep on trying. Keep on practicing. If you are not willing to put in the work over a long period of time, then you are not going to be a great archer. Number three, details matter. When you're going after your big dreams, you need to have a detailed action plan. Yes, you need a vision, but there are many steps you will need to take to actually turn those dreams into reality. Same thing with archery. There are so many details to consider that will separate an expert archer from a beginner. Arm position, line of sight, the release, so many details to consider that all have such an important role. Number four, you don't always hit the bullseye. In fact, you rarely do. The truth is with your big dreams, things will not go perfect. Things will not always go according to plan. You may try hundreds of times before you succeed, and that's okay. With archery, it is the same. Hitting that bullseye is a challenge and not something that you'll do with much accuracy. You might spend all day out practicing and not hit a single bullseye. But if you remain committed, then you will improve and ultimately get there. At camp, we actually set up playing cards on our target. And when I hit a card, I was able to take it and send it to my parents in the mail. I didn't hit many cards, but it sure felt great when I did. So those are just some of the lessons that I came up with. And there are so many more. 
My point in sharing this is not to inspire you to pick up archery as a hobby, even though I personally think it is pretty cool. Rather, it is to challenge you to be open to picking activities that will translate into skills that will make you better. That's all for today. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dream is not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action to turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. I'll see you next episode. Bye!